plumbers and says, because even engineers need heroes. <laughs> I uh, really ain't got no butt, so it don't apply to me. <laughs> Plumber's butt crack? Oh yeah, you see it every once in a while on the job, working with your lead man or your helper. They're bent over working on a tankless water heater and whoop, play nickel slots. I think it's because people enjoy playing the nickel slots. When you got a doggone plumber there bent over and they see that little uh, uh, crack there, they pull out a quarter there and kind of wish for good luck there and spin it and pop it in there. Just throw a nickel down there. And then they'll fix it. I mean, I don't work around HVAC techs. Maybe they uh, have butt crack problems too. You know, you don't know. I think it's some true because my last, my last helper, no matter what he did, he had plumber's crack all the time. He barely bent over and his crack be hanging out. It's unreal. I'd tell him. I'd let him know every single time. I have no clue because I don't show my. Tommy especially. <laughs> Well, we're not on the job much, but I imagine his sticks out a lot. <laughs> well, I think it's because a lot of plumbers get the conception that they're under the under the sink. So when you're bending down under the sink, uh, you just show some butt crack. I think this is this is where the doggone plumber's butt crack probably come from. Plumbers are a special breed of people. There's only about two percent in the world. You got plumbers who just absolutely love their job. They get too busy involved with their work there to care about their shirts getting untucked there, their pants start, they're sweating like hosses there, that the pants just naturally fall down. Here comes the old butt crack. Everybody else just don't love their jobs. So they're just always constantly making sure they look nice. That's probably where the butt crack comes from. <laughs>